Darwin, what did you think kind of pulled you guys out of the whatever it was defensively or defensive glass in the first half and eventually pulled away from Phoenix in the second? I mean, I think guys just got their win, got their legs up under them. You know, technically this is the backside of three or four nights. And so um, with the travel and getting in at weird hours, um, it's that time of the year, man. You know, I mean, you can't... Um, it's, I know if I'm feeling tired and coaching staff, you know, I, I can only imagine how they feel, they feel, but we just got to figure out a way to power through. And that was the message at halftime, pretty much. Um, we were able to put it together as the game wore on. We got a little bit stronger. Started seeing the ball go in more. Started getting some stops, holding them to one possession. But, uh, you know, it's that time of the year, man. It's, it's, you know, Phoenix is a private ball club, even though with those guys being out, they still got, you know, that's why they're considered a championship caliber team because of their roster and their depth. And um, they got a lot of guys over there that play hard nonstop. And so uh, they're going to push you to the limit and make you earn that W. And um, I'm just happy we came out on the right side of it. Technically, there's still so many different scenarios that could unfold. Of course, you can only control what you can on Sunday. But have you felt any of that, uh, th the team, just the uncertainty of who the opponent is going to be what, on top of having to play the games with this whole playing concept? No, nah, I, I don't feel any lack of confidence. You know, it's just we have to do what we need to do to get, make sure we have the proper energy, the proper rest, the care, make sure we're taking care of our guys and their physical issues um, and try to come out and put our best foot forward. That's the biggest thing, man. Like, um, everybody's dealing with a little something in terms of whether it's injuries or things that are hurting. And um, we just got to push through. Like, the film study is even more at a premium now. Um, it's hard to get on the practice floor and do anything practice-wise. Mostly walkthroughs and try to, you know, make sure we get shots up. But talk through some coverages and some adjustments. But, um for the most part, I think rest is at the top of the list of things that needs needs to be done, and you know we'll figure it out. But we feel good, man. It was a good W to get, and we'll come out and do what we need to do tomorrow to put ourselves in a position to finish the regular season the right way on Sunday. Darvin, how much do you think that D'Lo, Austin, and Malik help to carry you guys to do this tonight? It's huge. It's huge. If those guys will be able to carry the load and make some shots and, and have their own different segments during the game, it's huge, man. You know, the more pressure we can take off Brian and AD to have to go out and save the day or make every play, the better. Um, when they can just play manageable minutes, um, and those other guys step up and come out and play well. It just makes us that much more dangerous, and it also saves some gas for our, our, our two big dogs. Darwin, the Warriors and Kings tipped off about a half hour before you guys, and that game obviously has implications on where things could end up playing wise for you guys. Did you have any awareness of, of what was going on up? Nah, up the coach? I'm just trying to coach my team, man. Like, however it falls, whatever happens, we just got to be ready to do what we need to do. And if that's a secure spot at number six, if that's, you know, seven or eight in the play, and I don't, I don't it, it, we just got to be ready to do what we need to do. And that's that's the way I, you know, carry myself through life and in, in, in this sport. Like, take care of what you can take care of. Control. So you helped the Lakers secure a win here. One more regular season game to go. It's been just this kind of steady climb, right, since the trade deadline. MVP! MVP! I missed free throws. Nah! I know you're mad about the two missed free throws. Darvin Ham echoing what some Laker fans have been giving you. I won't ask you again about that yet, but just to kind of get back on that, that frame, Austin, of what has this build been like for you guys when you still have that one game left to go? Uh, I mean, it's been it's been great. I feel like, you know, like you said, it's been an uphill battle, but, you know, we've come together and really, uh, you know, all, you know, pitched into one goal, and that's to win every game we go play. Obviously, it's not going to happen, but, you know, if you have that mindset, then you'll win a lot of them, especially with the talent that we have so one more to go hopefully we get it and uh then move on to the playoffs you know, it wasn't the best start for the team defensively in the first half austin you were one of the players that kind of kept things close and then uh helped lead the eventual push here in the second half as d walks by uh how, how just solidified are you feeling right now in this position even even thinking about earlier this season no i feel great and obviously is i mean it's a testament to the, the team i mean and you know just me playing basketball the game i love i mean and that's all it comes down to. 
I'm having fun playing the game and, you know, everybody supporting me. All right, last one for you. I know that you're not thinking about all of the different permutations. Still a lot of things could happen on Sunday. If you win, though, you at least control staying in Los Angeles, uh, whether for a, a home game in the seven or at worst an eight, uh, the eighth game if the Clippers. You can still get the six, though, if a couple teams lose. So, like, how do you think about all that and how do you focus still on Utah? Uh, you know, we can't really control what everybody else does. You know, we just got to go and do what we, we want to do, and that's just win when we play uh, Utah on Sunday. So that's really it. I mean, obviously – we would like to get to the sixth spot, but, you know, at the end of the day, if we just get an opportunity to go play, and, you know, I think we got the talent.